Hey, it's Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got these two nightstands that we're going to redo. So hit that subscribe button and let's get this project started. <laughs> All right, pretty basic. This, these two pieces came with another set that doesn't even match. So we're gonna split them up. We're gonna treat these as their own project here and see what we can do with them. I got a little bit of a metal piece here. Overall, pretty basic, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna come out well. So, first thing we'll do, we'll remove the hardware, remove the hinges, the door, pull the everything apart here, make sure everything looks good. And then we'll sand them down, we'll paint them, and then we'll rebuild them with a little nice little scuff on them and see how they turn out. Hopefully, I can get a few bucks out of them. And if not, well, we got a video out of it. No, not to do this project again. So, let's do a quick run by of them. After that, I'll remove the hardware and we'll go from there. Hardware off, got the drawers out, everything's taken care of. The tracks are good, so that's perfect. Got my trusty mask here. 80 grit sandpaper on the DeWalt sander. Everything's pretty much square on this piece, so we'll be able to do most of it with the sander. Anything such as the drawers here that have the little lip here, we'll pull that sandpaper off. We'll sand that down, make sure everything's scuff sanded uh, so that the paint will stick really nice to it. So after this, we'll vacuum it down, we'll wipe it out, make sure it's nice and clean for that paint. Uh, so let's get to the dirty part, <laughs> sanding. Sanded it down, wiped it out, vacuumed it, and we're ready to start painting. And just in time, I got a package from DWIL Dwell for some black paint, which is what I was going to use. So we're going to try it out today. They sent me this nice little care package, something that you could actually pick up so you can buy it as uh, paint or as a package. So you get some tape, a paintbrush, some sandpaper, a roller, and even some masking tape. Uh, to roll out for a nice clean area. I think my wife will like that, keeping the thing clean. So we got this nice paint. We're gonna try it out today. We'll let you know how uh, how we like it. Um, I'm gonna stick with my paintbrush today because this is a client's project, and I want to make sure uh, that the brush strokes don't show up. And well, I'm not too sure about this paintbrush yet. So I'm going to stick with my old trusty one. So it looks like it's going to be some good paint. Two coats. Um, it's water-based. Excellent adhesive. Wear resistant. Pretty straightforward on the direction. So we're within the humidity and temperature. So let's give it a try and see what we think. that new paint dwell DWIL and well two coats it dried really nicely I even dropped one of the frames here on the ground not like a hard fall or anything like that but some paints that would have scratched it and really made a mess 
um, or we had to re redone that portion. But this paint held up really well and was really good with the resistance of that fall. So I'm super happy about that. The paint is a little more shiny, has a little more sheen to it than I am typically uh, fond of. But so something to think about when you're looking at buying paint, the sheen really plays a factor. So like all of our products, we're going to scuff them up, give them that farm style look, and let's see how it does with a little sanding process on it. So we'll do all of it, just kind of a wear in look, frame, drawers, everything get done, and then we can wax it and get this piece done. Let's get started. some elbow grease into the sanding that paint sticks really well so really good positive to this paint so let's get to waxing this piece then we can start putting the hardware back on it so the next time you see this well it'll be a finished product so we're gonna use Howard's citrus shield paste wax got an old sock let's get to work Here they are, completed two nightstands. We sanded them down, we painted them, we scuffed them up, gave them that farm style look, waxed them, and put them back together. Well, the end results look pretty good. I really like how they turned out. Uh, we did go in and paint these just to give it a little bit better of a, a match match look to it. If you like this project and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and well, we'll keep doing some pretty cool projects. And we'll even try this game again.